Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a rotated face with pentagons as shapes and how you're going to turn them around to create one of these effects. There's an artist called Gordon Magnan who does something similar and we're going to have a go at doing our own today. Okay, first thing you need to do is have a portrait of a face or a face portrait. You'll then need to use the polygon tool which is down on the toolbar here. You'll need to select the polygon tool and then you'll need to decide how many sides you want your polygon to have. At the moment, I want it to have five sides, so I'll type five in there. Then we simply draw our polygon shape using the mouse and turning it as we get it to the right size that we want. And when we have it, it will then appear on our screen. We then move it to where we want to place it on the face so we can get that bit to cut out. And we need to go over to where the layers are where it says polygon one right click and rasterize the layer then once we've done that we use the magic wand tool which is in this tool menu here magic wand tool click on our shape so we get a flashing line around it hide the eye so we can't see that layer click on the background layer where the face is go edit copy and edit paste and you will see we have a now cut out part of the face we can then use this to rotate by moving the mouse outside of the box and turning the mouse so that the image rotates. We can place it wherever we want to put it, like so. We then simply hide that layer, go back to our polygon layer, click on it so that it's grey, make it slightly smaller, move it over to the face, click onto the layer with the face on it, hide the eye on the polygon layer, so we have no eyes, only the eye on the background layer. Before we do that though, we obviously need to select it. So we use the magic wand, we click on the polygon, make sure on the right layer, otherwise that happens. So click on the polygon layer, hide the eye, go to the background layer and go edit, copy, edit, paste. And you will now see that we have another cutout shape. We then need to move the order of this above the other one we open them both you can see where the new one is making sure we're on this layer we then need to rotate it so that it fits our polygon pattern like so and maybe move it around slightly until we're happy with its arrangement and when we are happy we press enter then we repeat the process again so if we hide those two layers click on the polygon tool make it smaller place it where we want it, click on the magic wand tool, select the shape, hide the eye, go onto the background, go edit, copy, edit, paste, move that layer to the top of the pile, open all the eyes, turn it around, and keep going, got that one that way around this time. And you can see we're now building up our shape. We'll do two more, and then I'll show you how to add the drop shadows to them. So we press enter, hide the eyes, click on the polygon shape, go onto the magic wand tool, click on the shape, hide it, click on the background. In fact, we haven't made it small enough, so control D to deselect, go to the polygon tool, make it smaller. Go on to the magic wand tool, click on the polygon, hide it on the background. Go edit, copy, edit, paste. Go to the move tool, move it to the top of the pile, open all the eyes. Get to the move tool, rotate it around where you want it. That's it, we'll just do one more so I can show you the effect that we're after. So hide all the eyes, click on the polygon tool, make it smaller, place it where you want it, use the magic wand tool, click on it, hide it, scroll to the bottom, click on the background layer, edit, copy, edit, paste, bring that to the top, open all the eyes, 
then we need to rotate the top one and there we have got our rotated face now it looks quite cool like that but it would look even better if we added a drop shadow to it as i show you on the one i showed you earlier you can see it's got a darker edge to it so to do this we need to click on each layer individually right click go to blending options go down to our drop shadow make sure we tick it and also click here so we can then adjust the settings set it to linear light arrange it says no distance so it goes all the way around the object and then click OK. And you can see there's a slight shadow to it. Now do the same thing to each layer. So blending options. Once you set it up, we need to do is click on it and click OK. Scroll down to the next layer. Right click blending options. Drop shadow. OK. The next layer blending options. Drop shadow, OK, and then finally, blending options, and drop shadow, OK. There we go. There is our rotated face portrait. Hope you've enjoyed watching today's tutorial. Obviously, if you have, make sure you check out some more of my tutorials on Quentin Cup of Nature of Flowers. There are playlists available, and there'll be a link down here after the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell so you can be notified when I make my next video. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed making a rotated face.